A community kitchen is offering a Mardi Gras lunch. The Galloping Goose's summer schedule includes trips on the Durango Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad and Pueblo Community College Southwest welcomes a new dean. You're watching the Local News Roundup brought to you by the law firm of Downs, McDonough, Cowan and Foley and True West Auto. I'm Connor Shreve. Grace's Community Kitchen in Cortez will offer a Mardi Gras celebration lunch on Tuesday, February 21st from noon to 1 p.m. with jambalaya, veggies, cornbread, and more. A $10 donation is suggested, and the format is takeout style for the pre-order feast. You're asked to email or call the St. Barnabas office to place your order. You'll soon be able to ride the Galloping Goose on one of America's favorite railways. The Galloping Goose Historical Society is planning to run the Goose on the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad in March, April, May, August, and September. Destinations include Cascade Canyon, Railroad Park, and Silverton. For details and to book a trip, check out the events page on the Galloping Goose website. Pueblo Community College Southwest has a new executive dean. The school announced former San Juan College School of Humanities Dean Lisa Snyder as the person who will fill the role earlier this month. Snyder has lived in Durango with her family since 2013. Prior to serving as the dean for the School of Humanities at San Juan College, Snyder was the associate vice president for academic affairs at Fort Lewis College. Snyder has worked as part of the faculty at universities in New York and Oregon. In a statement, Snyder says her priorities are to increase enrollment and streamline pathways for transfer or employment opportunities. Learn more about these stories and others at montezumalocal.news. Thanks for watching this edition of the Local News Network. I'm Connor Shreve.